Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, there have been very serious fights between uh, misunderstandings, let me use the word misunderstanding, between sound engineers and musicians. Listen guys, it's very important that we musicians hear ourselves when we are playing. And most of the times we have this issue because there's literally no feedback monitor speakers for us to hear ourselves. So in order for you to hear yourself, you have to increase the volume over time for us to hear ourselves. And that's not really nice. All right. Now, this is what um, um, this is what sound engineers do. Most of them will make you increase your volume to the maximum and then they control it from that area. All right. But I'm going to teach you how to increase an internal volume. Apart from this knob, we all know this knob to be volume control. That's the master volume. There's actually an internal volume on the SX series. There's an internal volume. I'll teach you how to increase that. Now listen, listen, but before I proceed, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you've not subscribed, for those of you who've subscribed so far, those of you who has been watching our videos, please, we appreciate you and we want to say God bless you. Please, please, if you have not subscribed and you're watching our content, Please, we beg you, please subscribe. I think it's high time for you to subscribe and become a bona fide um, fan. Please subscribe to our channel. And recommend the channel to some other person. A lot of us have been sending requests. How do I meet up to your requests? You know, there are so many requests. A lot of requests. And I've been doing my best to meet up some requests. You know, I actually sent um, a loop to someone for free. You know, so please, this is what I do and many more. So I'm going to teach you this for free for free i'm going to teach you this for free listen if you must know this there are a lot of content creators of this field all right that are hiding so many informations yes i'm not afraid to say that i don't want to mention names but there are a lot of content creators that are hiding informations now they believe that once you know that information you have that idea you will now you know, start be cr being creative for your own self. You know, you 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 might you might you might outgrow them. You might do beyond <laughs> what they are doing, and that's the truth about it. So that information you are supposed to get, that idea you are supposed to get, they rather hold it from you. They rather not tell you, so that you will not, you know, overtake them. But I'm actually here. This channel is here to give you every information you want for free for free. Trust me, for free. Now, I'm going to teach you this very one. There is a way you increase. There are three ways to increase your volume on Yamaha SX900. Three ways to increase your volume. Number one, this is the general one everybody knows. This is master volume. That is the master volume. All right? Number two way Touch your mixer and equalizer. You see that? You see this? This is the right. You see the green light? It's showing you that this volume is activated. You see this? You see that? All right. So it's, it's showing you that this volume is being activated. So how do you increase? Number two way to increase the volume is touch this. Since it is a touch screen, you can slide up. You see the volume has increased. You can reduce from here. That is the second way of increasing the volume. Now, the final way of increasing the volume, this is what I bet you very few musicians know about this. Even those who are using the SX series, a lot of them are not aware of this. Now, this is the secret, secret volume of the Yamaha SX900 and SX700. Now, listen. Touch, touch the voice where the voice you're using. Now, this is grand piano. I've touched it once. You see that? Touch your menu button. Have you seen that? Now, see voice edit. You can see voice edit here. You can see voice edit. See that? 
see that this is voice edit all right thank you that's voice edit i just wanted you to see it i'm taking my time to you know take things bit by bit please follow me don't stop watching watch this you touch the voice edit did you see that now this is a secret volume that is inside the keyboard now the sx series now see this see on this common see volume see volume volume number three <laughs> scroll to the end see you see by default i think it's around 110 by default by default it's around 110 or maybe 100 so now see this to the end so i've shown you the three volumes the secret volume of the yamaha sx 900 and sx 700 way simple as soon as you come here the volume is going to reveal itself all you need to do is increase it from there all right you've gotten the real volume then see that is the volume itself all right so in our next class i'm going to teach us how to use the depth and the offset i'm going to teach you that and how to part octave and all of that i'll show you now see this this is filter this is cut off this is resonance this is attack this is decay release all of these things are things I, I'll show in our next class. This is filter. This is amplitude. This is LFO pitch. This is LFO filter. This is um, LFO amplitude. This is effect. See all of this. They have their basic functions. They have their basic functions. Now, this is ODB. DB means decibel. Now, I'm going to show you a lot of things. A lot of things you need to know. So, please... This is why you need to subscribe to this channel, touch the notification button, and ensure that you do not miss any of the videos. It's going to help you in your personal time. It's going to help you in your rehearsal. It's going to help you in creating your own content. Content creators, music content, keyboard music content creators. You have to follow this channel for more, more updates. Please recommend this to somebody else, and God bless you. Send your questions on the comment section. Drop your 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 um, your alternative uh, suggestions and whatever you feel is right for us to um, improve on. Let us know. Ask your questions. Make your requests on the comment section, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a lovely day.